Over there. Woo! Silver King, we gotta get back in the water. Got him. Another big one. Yep. Got him. That's another delicious fish. Another one, baby. Nice. Another one. That's what we came here for. Got another day, another adventure of fishing, guys. Welcome to CEO Fishing. Today, we're back on the bridges, and I realized I need some bridge carts. So, if anyone got a plug on some bridge carts, let me know because these things, they're falling apart. So my goal today was to catch a bunch of yellow jack for Pig Floyd, and we will get to that because we absolutely destroyed and slayed today. It was, it was an amazing day on the bridge. But walking by, I see, saw a gentleman there and he was looking down at all these tarpon. If anyone knows me, I love catching my silver kings. You know, I asked him, do you mind if I drop down? You know, because I know we have a bridge net. And keep in mind, if you're catching big tarpon and you don't have a bridge net, don't try to catch big tarpon. Unless you have a place to land it safely, you don't want to hook tarpon from a bridge, especially if you're further down the bridge. And I mean, there was literally like a six foot tarpon out there. A couple of them just, I saw the shadows. They, they, they were huge. But if the big ones were near it, I would, you know, I took the jig out of the water, but then, you no, know, there was a couple smaller ones there. So I just kind of let it go down and boop, you know, a little gentle. I wasn't trying to be too aggressive with it um, because they weren't really reacting to the fast pace. Enjoy this tarpon catch because it left me absolutely exhausted. Ooh, oh, I, that, the current's soft. It sank straight down, no way. Yeah, I got out. You know what? That's just a sign I should use this one. Even though it's a lighter weight, that's money. I'm calling it right now, guys. Immediate hookup. You're right on them. Got him. Got him. Eli! It's net time, baby! Woo. Oh, nice jump. Ugh. Guys, this is on the cash in icon from the real hooker bait and tackle. Straight down. I'm on a Daiwa Back Bay 4000. Handling this girl. I've got another minute to fight this bad boy. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I popped it. Yeah. If you want a, a shrimp and a jig? Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, scout no further. They're here. Oh, he's staying in that current. Ooh, look at the run, look at the run, look at the run. Not a small one. It's huh? One, right? It's a decent one, yeah. I was trying not to get the big one. Yeah, he is, he is. Nah, we're good. Yeah, she's back out. She's back out. Yep. Oh, she's pulling, pulling. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Let me come over here. Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a big girl. Woo! Yeah. Oh, which side of the piling? Oh, I gotta go this way, I gotta go this way. Okay, she's out. Woo! 
Can you get her up here? It's going to be hard to get her up here. Yeah. I just said, I'm popping in the face of the rock. Oh, no. Back in the front, baby. Back in the front. So sometimes you want to turn them girls around. Look at them right in the face. Let them know you love them. Oh. No, no, you're not going down there. You're coming back up with me. Coming back up with me. I got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Straight in front. She's straight in front. Yep. All right, she's getting tired. She's getting tired. Yeah. Okay. Guys, you see me moving back and forth. I'm dodging the pilings. Yeah, I'm trying to get her back in here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Over there. Oh, this is everything you want in a fight. Aerial attacks or jumps, acrobatics. She's showing off. I'm gonna need some coconut water after this, Eli. <sighs> Guys, this is a workout. This is a workout. <sighs> I don't want to tighten my drag too much because she might pop. And I got a small shrimp jig. <laughs> yeah, I got this 20 pound floral and 20 pound braid, J braid. Yeah, all right, she's gonna be done soon. She gotta be out of that current. Come on, try to keep her right here, bring her up, bring her up. Ooh. In, in, in. I'm trying to try and try. Oh! You guys missed it. She jumped out of the net. Ready, drop. Got her. No, no, no. Oh, oh, the head. Uh, lift. Oh, I think she drop her down. Let her go, let her go in. Let yep. Her go, let her go in. Come on, come on, come on. That picker? I got her. Nice. <sighs> hey, I'm glad. I'm, I didn't mean to take a fish from you, man, uh -oh. but. I'll reel up as she comes up. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. My hands are shaking, guys. What a perfect hook, Brooks. Yeah, right in the right button. In the button. Yep. Oh, that was perfect, man. There we go, Silver King, we gotta get back in the water. Once we got the tarpon landed and back in the water safely, you know, we lowered it back down, let it sit in the current for a little bit, got its head out, it got down, turned, sat in the current for a second, and turned and swam back towards the, the pilings in the back uh, of the actual bridge. So it was a nice, safe, gentle release. For anybody who's talking crap about me holding a tarpon out of the water, oh my God, it's, it's illegal. Number one, the rule is, 40 inches, can't have it out of the water for 40 inches. But number two, it's the same like with a Goliath or something. If you're on the bridge, you don't, you can't always control what is gonna bite because the, the jig I was using, the setup I was using is the exact same setup I used to catch my mangrove snapper and, and uh, yellow jacks and various other fish. I can't help it if a tarpon hits. I literally had a tiny little shrimp on one time and a huge tarpon came out of nowhere and hit it. And I was I was fishing for snapper. So I don't want to hear the crybabies out there saying, oh my God, you can't do this, you can't do that. Because I can. We lifted it out of the water with the bridge net, put it down while he was sorting out the bridge net because you know it gets a little tangled up. I held the fish up for a picture. Once the bridge net was situated, I put the fish back on the bridge net. We don't even put it on the concrete. I put it on the bridge net. So I held it until we got the bridge net ready and then dropped it down, lowered it very gently back down into the water and let it go the way you're supposed to. Don't tell me to cut the line and all this and that because what happens if I cut the line? Now I've got a tarpon with the hook in it and at least 30, 30 feet of uh, fishing line and leader just to be put out in the ocean? No. That's not what's gonna happen here. I'm going to take it out, de-hook it, and put it in and safely release it like any good angler and fisherman should. 
Stay tuned for part two because that's coming. I got a lot of fish from Pig Floyd. They're doing the seafood festival and it's, it's a ceviche contest. So we, we're bringing them a bunch of yellow jack. But stay tuned for part two because it'll be out in a couple days. And so you don't miss it, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now because you don't want to miss the episode. But until then, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.